Hello guys and welcome to episode 98 of the 10 minute mauling challenge. Another one episode, that'll be 99 and then we're gonna go for the big 100. Can't believe it, been doing this for nearly two years now. 10 minute videos that are usually about, uh, well, half an hour to an hour long, strangely enough. But let's just do something uh, quite basic and simple. We'll uh, go back to the vehicle thing and I'm gonna do another plane and it's gonna be a triplane, a fucker. DR1. Uh, you know, that red triplane that the Red Baron used to uh, fight in uh, World War One with. I think that's pretty cool and uh, distinct looking. If you're interested in the setup that I'm running here, you can always look in the previous episodes of my 10-minute uh, modeling challenge, especially from about the Cyberpunk room. I think that's when I got started with this one with a new little bit extended palette uh, stuff here. We've got the shading from the Cyberpunk stuff as well. Not really going to be using that, so I'm going to stick to the cavity shading here. And uh, also make sure that you check out the description of this video. If you want to learn low poly modeling, I've got a long video about uh, how to do that. And I might even update that soon because uh, I've learned a few new tricks since uh, last year. But do check that out if you want. And also the palettes and everything like that is uh, available for download there. So here we go. Fokker DR1 triplane, Red Baron. Brr, brr, shooting uh, down some uh, enemy planes. Ready? Steady? Go. Oh, by the way, I watched 1917, by the way, the film uh, about the First World War. And I tell you what, I, it's rarely that I'm that impressed by something. And uh, the camera work in that is absolutely spectacular. The whole film as if it was shot in one giant long two hour shot. So the camera transitions like going after the characters, flying over uh, water, stuff up in the air, through bushes, between trees, houses, uh, through the trenches, everything like that. It just looks like one big, huge camera take. But they did, of course, uh, not do that because, uh, well, that would be a bit inhuman. But uh, they managed to get all the transitions dialed in and managed to hide all the transitions really, really well. So I was super impressed by that one. If you haven't seen that one, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, check that out. So, well, now let's get back to modeling. Ready, steady, go. Oh, nice. There we go, go. Uh, auto mirror, of course. A, select everything. And it's going to be the Red Baron, so it's going to be a red plane. There we go. We'll do that pale red, I think. And I'm gonna, I think I'll subdivide this a couple of times. Maybe just one time there, a couple of times there, and then I'll do what I like to do here with the loop tools add-on and uh, just circle this stuff. I can also do X and do limited dissolve to get rid of those. And then uh, E to extrude, S to scale. And let's see, let's just uh, keep it simple like that for now. Now E to extrude, S to scale, and I think it goes up like this a little bit. E to extrude, S to scale. And here's the thing when you scale, with the modifier on, it doesn't really scale that well uniformly, so I'll have to do that manual a little bit. E to extrude, it looks maybe a little bit too chubby, but we'll see. Maybe I can lengthify it, longify it <laughs> later on. So that's gonna be the rough shape, I guess, of the plane. Are we okay? I'll do it slightly longer. I know it was, it, it did look quite short and chubby. So I've just wasted like one minute on this shape now, so I can't really do that anymore. Scale and scale just refine a little bit more scale and there we go all right not too happy with this it's way too chubby in the front here i think but scale shift y and there we go all right i'm gonna have to be okay with that i guess so gg good game uh move that one there gg gg and let's just do like an in gg here here's gonna be the like the where you sit, the pilot. B for the boundary in the center there. E to extrude this one down. Let's raise this up as well. Alt E, extrude long face normals. And then Control R. I'm gonna do like a little bit of a cartoony look because I can't really get it authentic. So, well, that looks hideous. So let's uh, Alt Z and don't be afraid to fix stuff like this on the fly. <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> Pun not intended, but I'm sort of, now I wanted it to be intended, so. And I don't even know what pun means. Is that joke or something? Well, I know that's being said anyway. And let's colorize this black. So it's not the black baron, it's the red baron, but let's go for like a black color there. And also let's colorize in here. There we go. Dark, so it looks like a proper hole there. All right, now we're gonna put some wings on here. So I'm gonna do uh, like a, actually a, a real shape of a wing here. So I'm gonna shift D to duplicate that vertex and then just control right click and then let's get like a sort of an aerofoil shape here so i'm just extruding these verts and then e to extrude hold the control key to snap that on l to select the linked m merge by distance and then let's uh, select all of those actually l and press f to link it and then e to extrude 
and maybe like that will do yeah a select it and go for a similar red there and then how am i doing 658 already wow okay so one wing maybe up here by the where you walk in there walking closet no <laughs> walk in pit and then uh, let's get some some of these things on here as well i'll just uh, i don't these are probably more aerofoil shape like properly but let's just put some fake stuff on there there we go l shift d to duplicate it g to move it down to the bottom and there'll be one up here somewhere on the top no science to this well there probably was a lot of science when they did this for real but since we're pretending now i'll just have to make that do top wing a little bit longer let's extend that in so it glues itself okay that's gonna be it now we have to put some struts is it called that i don't know some supports here so e to extrude that whoa that's one one big uh, thick support that's probably gonna crush let's keep there there we go one support oh that's a bit long gg good game gg oh, okay slide it down to there and I guess there's going to be another one here somewhere, but I don't know where that one is, really. Let's put it there just for now. All right. That's it. And then some thicker stuff out here by the wings. Um, scale X. And then E to extrude this one all the way up. To, okay, that's a bit too thick. Scale Y, E to extrude. How am I doing? It's 530 something. Uh, old said I need to see through here. X-ray vision would be cool to have. Sometimes, sometimes you probably don't want it. Um, G, their main support. I think it was just one massive like wood wood thing. And let's put a wood collar there. And I guess we need a propeller for this thing to fly. So scale X. There we go. Let's put like this um, like Alt S to scale. There we go. All right. Now I need to shift D, of course. Circle this thing scale it down circle again e to extrude s to scale e to extrude oh i hate that that it when the scales with the auto mirror there it's horrible 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 i have to keep doing the circle thing scale okay that's gonna have to do i'll put a propeller on there we need a propeller for it to fly 440 i'm just getting stressed now very stressed so let's go propeller wise here shift d to duplicate this thing and move that on into there scale x zero to flatten it let's do circle to make that square of course scale x zero scale z and um feels weird but I, I don't have time to worry about that too much scale z e to extrude have i got yeah i don't know what's going on here never mind i, I don't really care now <laughs> scale z scale z control r let's loop cut whoop i'm not gonna loop cut the wing Cutting the wings uh, is usually not a good thing to do. Alt S scale. Okay, that's going to have to do. L select linked. And for this one to rotate now, I'm going to P to separate that into a new object because I need to apply the mirror modifier here. Control A. And then let's do comma, do normal there so they can go individually. Select these two. O for proportional. Rotate the Z and spin this blade. Spin blade. Okay. 336. Okay. Um, okay, I don't know if that looks alright or not, but let's try it. Wood propeller, and we can rotate a little bit so it's not like totally flat. Rotate, well, comma, global, rotate, Y, and that should do. Okay, that's probably not what this uh, hub thing looked like. Let's shrink that one. <clears throat> and as usual, my voice gives in a little bit here. That's okay. Alright, that's gonna have to do. I have to put uh, something else. I don't like the shape of this body, really. Uh, but I can't really f do much more about that for now. So let's just keep tweaking this. Now uh, it's the like the rear wings. Shift D to duplicate that. Scale it. And scale it on the x-axis. Okay, that's no good. Comma. I need to go back. Well, I had global. And let's make this into like a triangular shape here. Uh, again, can't remember what it looked like. <laughs> so I should have checked a little bit more before I get started, but it's something like this. Uh, like a triangle <laughs> or something. And is this flat enough? Scale Z zero, now it's flat enough. Uh, e to extrude. And let's do here, shift D, scale X. How am I doing? Two minutes to go and I have no idea what's missing. The wheel is missing. Uh, let's just do this then. E to extrude, that's very thick and wide. Probably gonna crash again with that sort of geometry 
uh, e to extrude, s to scale on the y axis, e to extrude, e to extrude, s to scale. I think it was like nearly a round shape there. Oh, that's way too weird. Scale y. Okay, that's gonna have to do, you know. Uh, it looks quite bad, <laughs> but it's gonna have to do. All right, so here, this wing needs to attach as well. And we'll put some wheels on down here. I've got 137 to put wheels on. Okay, let's do uh, support here. Shift D, scale. It's supposed to have some engine parts as well and things. I'll do this one instead. Uh, there we go, scale. E to extrude, front view, G to move it down to there maybe. Ah, okay. And L, move that forward. Maybe shift D, move it back. I don't know there and then there was like a mini wing here it wasn't a wing it's like but it was something scale y i did check yeah i googled search to just so i could get the rough proportions before but as usual when i model i don't really have any time to look at any references which is probably a good thing and well, so there we go i've got to put a wheel on here now as well that's way too big never mind so shift d uh scale that on the z right click on it subdivide circle uh, I'll actually subdivide that again and circle it, circlify again. X, dissolve, limited, E to extrude. It's just a shortcut to get a cylinder. <laughs> e to, I to inset, uh, E to extrude, maybe I to inset. I don't know what the wheel looks like really. Never mind. I've got 22 seconds to go. I to inset, I to inset, and let's just get that black. I think it needs to be slightly bigger as well, the wheel. There we go. Let's put gray here as well. It's meant to be some pistons and stuff here, but maybe we'll just do shift D scale E to extrude. Whoa. Okay. Let's hide that. Let's cancel that. <laughs> okay. That didn't happen. All right. Wheels are too tiny. Let's pretend just before the buzzer went, I actually scaled up the wheels instead. Let's say that happened. And one crucial thing this uh okay so 10 minutes is up this is the, the end result if i would have uh, been faster if i would have done a better job at this i probably would have well first of all let's enable some lights there so if i would have been not as slow i would have grabbed a face here and then i would have moved that up to there i would have maybe scaled it y zero and then i would have circled it this is just a shortcut to get circles. Subdivide it, and I would have done circle again. Would have moved that in there, and then I would have scaled it down. <laughs> I would have extruded it. Extrude, scale, oop, no proportional. Scale, extrude, oh, that's probably too big. Extrude, and then extrude, scale, extrude. And then I would have probably made these a little bit smaller, even if big guns is pretty cool. Move them in together, move them back. I would have colored these gray. Um, notice how I'm speaking like uh, I would have done this if I had the time, if I wouldn't have sucked. <laughs> uh, then I would have done uh, this. And then maybe I would have pretended to know what I was doing here to put some sort of a, like, I think there was like some handles going down here, but I would have probably just faked it, something like this. And then maybe, one thing that looks a bit good, even if it's fake, it's to insert, inset an E to extrude, go dark, and then you could put those like little rivet things, hold, or not the rivets, what am I talking, like coolant things here. I to inset twice to get the individual, all D to extrude long face normals, and color those black, maybe something like that. And I think that would have been the last thing to, and here, of course, maybe I would have, <laughs> okay. This is just excuses now. I to inset B or twice to get rid of the individuals if I could. I to inset I again. Okay, what's going on? Oh, I duplicated those by mistake. Well, I was trying to do stuff. Let's see. I to inset again. Alt E along extra long face normals and then put some pistons here, maybe. Shift D, circle, scale it down. Okay, clipping off scale. I'm still speaking like I was doing this within the time frame, of course. Circle. Okay, that didn't work. Is it, maybe it's a good thing I didn't try this. Shift D, right click, subdivide, circle. Oh, what's going on? Is it because I've got. 
What's going on here? What's going on? That would work, wouldn't it? Circle. Right click, subdivide, circle. That's what I was trying to do. Scale, G, G. Let's move it into place, E to extrude. Let's just put some fake pistons there. I don't know what they look like. Control R, Control R, loop cut. That's the thing, like when you're doing low poly stuff, just sort of get some shapes in there. It doesn't really matter if it looks the way it should or not, <laughs> I don't think. Maybe a darker gray in here. So, but of course this is cheating, but this didn't happen within the 10 minutes. So, all right. Yeah, I think that's it though. There's uh, supposed to be like a little support there at the land. Maybe this uh, tail got a little bit too small as well. Scale it up. And scale this one up slightly too. And that probably had a different shape as well, I think a little bit rounder. But overall, I think it looks pretty much like the Red Baron's plane. Uh, a little bit chubbier and shorter, maybe. It feels like this part is too thick, maybe. I don't know. Try plane. There we go. There's the real deal. Okay, so I put wood color here. That was wrong, apparently. Uh, this one is more like a canopy with some dark details. Mine looks more cartoony, of course, because I, 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 that's my style. <laughs> Let's do a comparison now. Am I framing this okay? Yeah. Okay, so I would have done uh, here a bit darker. Uh, Propeller is decent, all right. The supports there should have gone in a little bit further, like uh, towards the center. Guns would look cooler, blacker and smaller, maybe. Well, they wouldn't look cooler, smaller. Big guns is pretty cool. These look cartoony. Wheels uh, different as well, but I guess overall it's pretty all right. All right, folks, that's going to be it for this week. Episode 98 just passed itself into history. And a tip this week is uh, if you want to learn how to do low poly modeling, pick simple objects and just do them over and over again. And don't obsess over the level of detail. Uh, put a reference picture maybe on the side. Instead of doing the blue pr pr print modeling, try to just look at something on the side and then just mimic it using the different shapes. Rotate your viewport a lot when you do look at the references and see that it's roughly in the right shape. And then when you're done with that one, don't spend too much time on it. Just start over, do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again, and then switch to a different objects. Do that over, 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 over again. And I think over time, you'll find that you'll improve your speed. And when you get back to an object in the future, you'll be able to do that one probably faster and better than you did before. Thanks for spending another Thursday along with me. Uh, thanks a lot for hanging out in the chat and in the premieres. And uh, come back next Thursday for another 10 minute modeling challenge. That's gonna be episode 99. And then we've got the big 100, so. Well, I'm, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think. I'm not gonna record that one on the same day as it's gonna air like I did with this one. This one's gonna be uploaded now, edited super fast first and then uploaded it. And I'm gonna premiere this in a couple of hours. So until next time, have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye for now.